Welcome to tonight's bedtime story, The Repeated Encounter. Relax and let the tale of John and Emma's destined connection lull you to sleep. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more enchanting stories that bring dreams to life. Sweet dreams and thank you for joining us. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue across the city, John boarded his usual train home. It was a routine he had followed for years, a comforting predictability in the chaos of urban life. He settled into his favorite seat by the window, the rhythmic clatter of the tracks a familiar lullaby. It was during one of these mundane journeys that he first noticed her. She was sitting across from him, her eyes focused on a book, her face partially hidden by a cascade of dark hair. There was something oddly familiar about her, a nagging sense of recognition that he couldn't shake. He tried to recall where he might have seen her before, but nothing came to mind. Days turned into weeks, and the encounters became more frequent. John found himself seeing her not just on the train, but in the coffee shop near his office, at the park where he jogged, and even at the grocery store. Each time, their eyes would meet, and there was a silent acknowledgement, a shared understanding that neither could explain. One evening, as the train pulled out of the station, John decided to break the silence. He approached her, his heart pounding in his chest. Excuse me, he began, his voice slightly shaky. I couldn't help but notice that we seemed to keep running into each other. She looked up from her book, her eyes wide with surprise. I was thinking the same thing, she replied, her voice calm and composed. It's like we're following the same path. They introduced themselves, and John learned her name was Emma. They began to talk, their conversations initially revolving around their shared commute but gradually delving deeper. They discovered they had attended the same university, lived in the same neighborhood, and frequented the same cafes and bookstores. It was uncanny how their lives seemed to mirror each other, intersecting in ways neither had realized. As the weeks passed, John and Emma grew closer, their connection deepening with each encounter. They shared stories of their pasts, their dreams, and their fears. John found himself opening up to Emma in a way he hadn't with anyone else, feeling a sense of comfort and familiarity that was both strange and reassuring. One rainy evening, as they walked through the city streets, Emma shared a story that left John speechless. She recounted a childhood memory of getting lost in a crowded fair the panic she felt, and the kind stranger who helped her find her way back to her parents. As she described the event, John felt a chill run down his spine. He had a similar memory, one that had always seemed like a distant dream. The details matched perfectly, the fair, the panic, the stranger. That was you, Emma said softly, her eyes searching his face. You were the boy who helped me. John's mind raced as the realization dawned on him. Their paths had crossed so many times, in so many ways, shaping their lives in ways they had never understood. It was as if fate had been guiding them toward each other all along. The rain continued to fall, but John and Emma stood still, lost in the revelation of their intertwined destinies. The city around them seemed to fade away, leaving only the two of them, connected by an invisible thread that had woven through their lives for years. As they continued their journey together, John felt a sense of peace and fulfillment he had never known. The repeated encounters were no longer a mystery, but a testament to the power of fate and the profound connections that shape our lives. As days turned into weeks, John and Emma's bond grew stronger. Their daily encounters were no longer coincidences, 
but cherished moments they both eagerly anticipated. They found solace in each other's presence, sharing laughter, secrets, and dreams. One crisp autumn evening, as they walked through the city park, John and Emma stumbled upon a small, old-fashioned cafe they had never noticed before. The warm light spilling from its windows and the inviting aroma of freshly brewed coffee drew them in. They took a seat by the window, watching the leaves fall outside. This place feels like it's from another time, Emma remarked, her eyes twinkling with curiosity. John nodded. It does. It's strange we never noticed it before. They ordered their drinks and continued their conversation, delving into stories of their childhood. Emma talked about her love for painting and how she used to spend hours in her grandmother's garden, capturing the vibrant colors of the flowers on canvas. John shared his passion for music and how he used to play the piano in his parents' living room the notes filling the house with warmth and joy. As they talked, an old man approached their table. He had a kind face, with deep lines etched by years of wisdom. Mind if I join you? He asked with a gentle smile. John and Emma exchanged glances and nodded. The old man took a seat and introduced himself as Mr. Thompson, the owner of the cafe. He shared stories of the cafe's history, how it had been a place for people to connect and share their lives for generations. There's something special about this place, Mr. Thompson said, his eyes twinkling with a knowing look. It has a way of bringing people together, helping them find what they're looking for. John and Emma listened intently, captivated by his words. They felt a deep sense of connection to the cafe and to each other, as if they were part of a larger story that had been unfolding for years. After Mr. Thompson left their table, John reached for Emma's hand. There's something I've been wanting to tell you, he said, his voice filled with emotion. Emma looked at him, her heart pounding. What is it? John took a deep breath. Meeting you has changed my life. I feel like every moment, every encounter, has led me to you. I don't believe it's just a coincidence. I think we were meant to find each other. Tears welled up in Emma's eyes. I feel the same way, John. It's like we've been connected all along, and now we're finally together. They sat in silence for a moment absorbing the weight of their words. The connection they shared was undeniable, a bond that had been forged through countless encounters and experiences. As they left the cafe that evening, hand in hand, John and Emma knew that their journey was just beginning. They had found each other, and with each passing day, their connection grew stronger, revealing the depth of their intertwined destinies. They continued to explore the city together, discovering new places and revisiting old ones, each encounter bringing them closer. The repeated meetings were no longer just moments in time, but milestones in their shared journey, a testament to the power of fate and the magic of true connection. Winter settled over the city, cloaking it in a blanket of white. The crisp air carried a sense of new beginnings, and for John and Emma, it marked a deeper phase of their relationship. Their bond, once marked by serendipitous encounters, had blossomed into an undeniable connection that felt as timeless as the falling snow. One evening, as they walked through the snow-dusted streets, Emma suggested they visit a quaint, hidden bookstore she had discovered years ago, but had nearly forgotten. Intrigued, John agreed, and they made their way through narrow alleyways until they arrived at the little shop. The sign above the door read, Whispers of Time, and the moment they stepped inside, 
the warmth and smell of old books enveloped them. The bookstore was a labyrinth of shelves stacked high with books of every genre. The owner, an elderly woman with a kind smile, greeted them and told them to make themselves at home. As John and Emma wandered through the aisles, they stumbled upon a section filled with journals and letters from people who had visited the store over the decades. Curious, they began to read through the letters, discovering stories of love, loss, and life. Each letter felt like a piece of a larger puzzle, reflecting the human experience in its rawest form. One letter in particular caught Emma's attention. It was dated 50 years ago and written by a woman named Margaret. Margaret's letter spoke of a man she had met by chance, a stranger who had become her closest friend and confidant. Their encounters, much like John and Emma's, were frequent and seemed orchestrated by fate. The letter detailed how their relationship had grown, much like theirs, from fleeting meetings to a deep, unbreakable bond. As Emma read aloud, John felt a profound sense of deja vu. The parallels between their story and Margaret's were uncanny. It was as if they were reading a mirror of their own lives. I wonder what happened to them, John mused, his mind racing with thoughts. Emma turned to the last page of the letter, where Margaret had written about their final meeting at the bookstore. She described how they had both realized they were destined to be together, their lives intertwined by invisible threads of fate. The letter ended with a promise to cherish each moment and to let their love grow, no matter what life threw at them. Moved by the story, John and Emma felt an even stronger connection to each other. They knew that, like Margaret and her mysterious companion, their love was something rare and extraordinary. As they left the bookstore, they made a silent pact to honor their connection, to nurture it, and to let it guide them through the uncertainties of life. They walked through the snow, hand in hand, feeling the weight of their shared destiny and the promise of a future built on the foundation of their repeated encounters. Days turned into weeks, and John and Emma continued to explore their city and each other. They revisited places they had once passed by without a second thought, now seeing them through the lens of their shared history. Every street, every cafe, and every park held a story, a memory that was uniquely theirs. One evening, as they stood on the rooftop of John's apartment, looking out over the city lights, John turned to Emma. Do you believe in destiny? He asked, his voice soft yet filled with conviction. Emma looked into his eyes, her heart swelling with love. I do, she replied. Our repeated encounters were never just chance. They were the universe's way of bringing us together. John smiled, pulling her close. I'm grateful for every moment that led me to you. As they stood there, wrapped in each other's arms, they knew that their journey was far from over. The repeated encounters had revealed a deeper connection, one that would continue to shape their lives in ways they couldn't yet imagine. Their love was a testament to the power of fate, a reminder that sometimes the most meaningful connections are those that are meant to be. And so, under the starry sky, John and Emma embraced their destiny, ready to face the future together, one serendipitous encounter at a time. The arrival of spring brought a renewed sense of energy to the city. Flowers bloomed, and the air was filled with the scent of fresh beginnings. For John and Emma, their connection continued to deepen, their lives intertwined in ways that felt both comforting and exciting. One weekend, 
they decided to take a day trip to a nearby town known for its historic charm and scenic landscapes. As they walked through the cobblestone streets, admiring the architecture and the bustling market, they stumbled upon an old art gallery. Drawn by the promise of discovering something new, they stepped inside. The gallery was quiet, filled with paintings and sculptures from various eras. As they wandered through the rooms, they found themselves in front of a large, striking painting. It depicted a couple standing under a cherry blossom tree, their faces filled with a mix of joy and melancholy. The scene was familiar, almost as if they had seen it before in a dream. That's us, Emma whispered, her voice tinged with awe. John looked closer, noticing the details. The man in the painting had a small scar above his eyebrow, just like his own. The woman had a delicate bracelet on her wrist, identical to the one Emma always wore. It was as if the artist had captured a moment from their own lives. Intrigued, they sought out the gallery owner, an elderly woman with a gentle demeanor. She explained that the painting was created by a local artist many years ago, inspired by a love story that had become legendary in the town. The couple in the painting were said to have a connection that transcended time, the owner said. They met and fell in love under that cherry blossom tree, their bond so strong that it was believed they would find each other in every lifetime. John and Emma exchanged glances, their hearts pounding with recognition. It felt as if they were living out the very story depicted in the painting. After leaving the gallery, they decided to find the cherry blossom tree mentioned in the legend. The owner had given them directions, and they followed a winding path through a lush forest until they reached a clearing. There, in the middle of the clearing, stood the cherry blossom tree, its branches heavy with delicate pink flowers. They stood beneath the tree, feeling a profound sense of peace and belonging. It was as if the tree had witnessed their journey and understood the depth of their connection. As the petals gently fell around them, John turned to Emma. I believe we were meant to find this place, he said softly. Just like in the painting, our connection is something beyond this lifetime. Emma smiled, tears glistening in her eyes. I feel it too, John. Every moment we've shared, every encounter, it's all led us here. They embraced under the cherry blossom tree, their hearts filled with gratitude and love. The tree stood as a symbol of their journey, a reminder of the power of fate and the timeless nature of true connection. In the weeks that followed, John and Emma continued to explore their city and beyond each day revealing new layers of their bond. They revisited the places where they had first met, each location now imbued with a sense of destiny and purpose. One evening, as they sat on the balcony of Emma's apartment, watching the sunset, John took Emma's hand. I've been thinking about our journey, he said, his voice steady. And I know that wherever life takes us, we'll always find our way back to each other. Emma squeezed his hand, her heart swelling with love. I know we will, John. Our repeated encounters have shown me that we're meant to be together, no matter what. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the city, John and Emma knew that their story was far from over. The repeated encounters had woven their lives together, creating a tapestry of love, fate, and timeless connection. With every passing day, they embraced their journey, ready to face whatever came their way, confident in the knowledge that their bond was unbreakable and their love eternal. Summer brought a warmth and vibrancy to the city that mirrored the growing depth of John and Emma's relationship. 
Their lives, once defined by solitary routines, now revolved around shared experiences and the joy of discovering new places together. Each day felt like a continuation of their journey, a path that seemed to have been laid out for them long before they met. One sunny afternoon, as they strolled through the bustling streets of a summer festival, they came across a booth offering palm readings. Emma, always curious and open to new experiences, tugged at John's hand. Let's do it, she said, her eyes sparkling with excitement. John chuckled but agreed, and they approached the booth. An elderly woman with a kind smile and twinkling eyes greeted them. She took Emma's hand first, tracing the lines on her palm with a gentle touch. You have a strong heart and a curious spirit, she said. You're on a path of discovery, one that's deeply intertwined with someone else's journey. Emma glanced at John, her smile widening. The woman then turned to John and took his hand. As she studied his palm, her expression grew more serious. You have faced many crossroads in your life, she said softly. But your path has always led you to her. The connection you share is rare, one that transcends time and space. John felt a shiver run down his spine. The woman's words echoed the feelings he and Emma had been experiencing for months. Their repeated encounters, the sense of familiarity, and the deep bond they shared, all seemed to point to something beyond the ordinary. There is one more thing, the woman continued her voice almost a whisper. Your journey together is not yet complete. There is a place you must go, a place that holds the key to your past and your future. She handed them a small, worn map. Follow this path and you will find what you're looking for. Intrigued and slightly unnerved, John and Emma thanked the woman and left the booth. They studied the map which led to a location just outside the city, a place neither of them had ever been. The following weekend, they set out on their journey, their hearts filled with anticipation. The map led them to an old, abandoned mansion nestled in the countryside. Overgrown vines and wildflowers surrounded the building, giving it an air of forgotten beauty. As they approached the mansion, they felt a sense of deja vu. The place felt oddly familiar, as if they had been there before. They pushed open the creaky front door and stepped inside, the air thick with dust and memories. The mansion was filled with antique furniture, faded photographs, and old books. It was a place frozen in time, a testament to a bygone era. As they explored the rooms, they came across a large, ornate mirror in the hallway. Emma reached out to touch the mirror's frame, her fingers brushing against an inscription carved into the wood. Look at this, she said, pointing to the words. John leaned in, reading the inscription aloud. To those whose paths are bound by fate, may this mirror reflect the truth of your journey. As they stood in front of the mirror, a strange sensation washed over them. The reflection seemed to shift and change, revealing scenes from their past encounters. They saw themselves as children at the fair, strangers passing by on the street, and finally, as the couple under the cherry blossom tree. It's showing us our story, Emma whispered, her voice filled with wonder. John nodded, his eyes fixed on the mirror. It's as if this place, this mirror, is a part of our journey, a reminder of how we've been connected all along. They continued to explore the mansion, finding more clues and reminders of their intertwined fates. In the attic, they discovered an old trunk filled with letters and photographs all documenting the lives of couples who had found their way to the mansion over the years. 
Each story was a testament to the power of fate and the connections that transcended time. As they read through the letters, John and Emma felt a profound sense of belonging. Their repeated encounters were not just coincidences, but part of a larger tapestry, woven by the threads of destiny. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the mansion, John and Emma stood together in front of the mirror one last time. They held each other close, their hearts filled with gratitude and love. We were meant to find this place, John said softly. It's a reminder of how far we've come and how much we've yet to discover. Emma nodded, her eyes shining with tears. Our journey is just beginning, John, and I know that whatever lies ahead, we'll face it together. With that, they left the mansion, the map safely tucked away as a keepsake of their extraordinary adventure. As they walked back through the countryside, hand in hand, they felt a renewed sense of purpose and connection. The repeated encounters had led them to this moment, revealing the depth of their bond and the promise of a future filled with love and discovery. And as they looked forward to the days ahead, they knew that their journey was far from over, their paths forever intertwined by the magic of fate.